Hello, this is Giridhar. So today I'm going to share my thoughts on the Nokia Lumia uh, series, the Windows phone, and why I'll be switching over to the uh, Lumia series now. So it's been over uh, more than three, four years since I've been on the uh, Android platform. So Android devices have been my uh, primary mobile devices for the past uh, three, uh, maybe four years. So, uh, I mean, it's a big step for me. Since I had my first uh, Motorola Milestone, uh, I was all I'm all, always been in love with uh, Android. So, uh, my uh, latest primary uh, device is the HTC One X, and it's been uh, up close to a uh, close to two years uh, since I've been having this uh, device with me. So it's a uh, I I'm in love with uh, the design of the Nokia Lumia. Sorry, uh, the design of uh, this HTC One, um, it, it's a very nice, nice design. But it, it, it's not about the design. Uh, it's about me switching to a completely a different uh, operating system. So switching to a, Lo a Lumia is is not it's not an easy easy decision for me, because uh, Sim Android is all about applications. So. Uh, the Android platforms got uh, loads and loads of applications for users to install, play around, and uh, games to play and whatnot. It, it, even Microsoft, uh, they they have companies, uh, they have acquired companies which develop Android application, and it, just because of the openness of the platform and uh, the uh, freedom which is given to the developer, and also there's a strong developer community community along. Uh, around the uh, android uh, platform and uh, there is not right now there is nothing compared to the android platform and the ecosystem which it, it's called and uh, the uh, loads of uh, customization where user can do on a android device is kind of uh, boundless and I, i'm just i'm gonna sacrifice all these uh, privileges and i'm gonna shift to uh, the uh, lumia uh, series uh, Windows Phone uh, just because of the Nokia Lumia 1020. So the Nokia Lumia 1020 is a great camera with some uh, mobile features. So uh, the mobile is kind of sitting on the Windows 8 platform. I, I'm not a big fan of the Windows platform yet. So uh, I may like uh, the uh, Metro UI a bit, but uh, primarily I still have my uh, second opinion and second thoughts on the uh, entire platform and how it's uh, kind of listening to the user's comment and kind of getting developed over the period of time. Uh, that apart, uh, the Nokia Lumia 1020 is a great camera. Uh, let this device has got a 41 megapixel uh, camera and uh, it, it clicks uh, awesome pictures which even uh, the DSLR users kind of find it very difficult to click. So uh, this kind of gives uh, uh, me being interested in photography. So this will definitely complement uh, my uh, uh, interests and it, it will serve as a good mobile and a good uh, companion in all my travel and uh, adventures so uh, so it's time so let me make the big step and move ahead and switch to Lumia so for the uh, last time I'm gonna take out the sim card from my HTC one and for the first time, I am going to insert the SIM into my Lumia 1020. So design-wise, Nokia has done a fantabulous job on the Nokia Lumia. So it's a polycarbonate unibody design. So check out my review at Mobignan. I got an uh, in-depth video review and also a text uh, review on the uh, powers of the Nokia Lumia 1020. Um, 
I will be sharing all my uh, travels, uh, travel pictures of uh, the you know, Nokia Lumia 1020 here. So what I'm trying to do here is insert my SIM card into this uh, SIM tray and then I'm going to insert it back into the Nokia Lumia. So there we go. So uh, the moment I insert a new SIM card, it automatically restarts. So let's say goodbye to my HTC One X and um, I'll still be holding this device for some time and uh, until I'm really confident about the uh, Nokia uh, and the Windows platform in it. I, I'm definitely confident about uh, the camera capabilities of this device. Uh, but uh, I will have to get gain more confidence on the uh, uh, Windows OS and its usability that it's got to offer to me. So there you go. Let me. I will be missing out on all the applications which I regularly use. Uh, I'm 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 not sure whether all my favorite applications are available in the uh, Windows uh, platform. So my gut feeling is that no, they won't be available at least for the time being and uh, windows platforms co got a long way to go until it reaches a maturity uh, very similar to that of an android platform so uh, i will have to wait and see what it's got to offer and i will have to uh, check out the applications which are available for the uh, nokia lumia uh, series of mobile and um, i also need to find all the alternative applications uh, for the regular apps which I use in my mobile like um, the um, one second everyday app which is my favorite and games like dots lines and jetpack and there are other applications utility applications like my bank they don't have an application for the Windows platform my uh, TV they don't have this application for the Windows platform and the application which used to control my Motorola Bluetooth in the uh, car and most most uh, the most important application which I'll be missing on the Windows platform is the iFi application which uh, I used to kind of uh, transfer wirelessly all the pictures which I shoot using my DSLR to my mobile immediately and there are a couple of applications which I'll be missing out on the Windows platform uh, on, on like uh, the Endomodo Pro and I think Endomodo Pro is not available in the Windows uh, mobile it's just the uh, regular Endomodo and uh, I don't think Google Maps will be available but here Maps is good enough as an alternative and my favorite picture editing application the Snapseed is also not available on the Windows uh, platform and uh, my app favorite applications like the sit up talking tom which my son loves i don't think it's available in windows yet okay so yes it's official i have switched to lumia and made the switch so this is my new mobile the 41 megapixel nokia lumia 1020 so stay tuned and I'll be sharing all my experiences, my pictures, my travel, my adventures with my new Nokia Lumia 1020. Thanks for watching the video and do put in your comments and share your thoughts on the Windows platform and also my decision on shift, shifting to the Windows platform. So thanks for watching. Goodbye.